Hey guys, servus, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna change this thing, this driver side mirror on the E53X5. I'm gonna show you why. For once, get to this in a moment, but when I got the car, the mirror was wobbly, right? And when you fold it, it would fold in, but it wouldn't stay, it would come right back out. So yes, the cap is off because I did check the micro switch in here, that's fine. That's not a problem. So the problem is going to be here. However, once you take a closer look, you see here, this is supposed to be one part, but it's cracked here. So this means this entire structure is disconnected and yeah, that is possibly why it doesn't work. I mean, you can, there are sets that you can repair the, the motor and the housings because there are some noses in there that break away out. It's supposed to be connected here, but it's below. So it's not on the right spot. And also this one here, that doesn't seem original. This seems like this entire tree has been repaired. So with those two things, doesn't bother me too much, but this bother me. I'm just gonna go change it. I couldn't find a proper used one that would really fit the case here. So I just got a brand new one. Um, I do not believe it's an OEM BMW because price-wise I paid 280, I guess. And BMW mirrors never came like this. This one comes with a unpainted cap. The cap is different, but I will keep the old housing because this here is not painted. Mine is shadow line and it's black, nice. And here on the new one, you can see the paint is like, I guess that's what we consider orange peel. Versus the original one is just like smooth and nice, has dirty at the moment, but barely orange peel. But anyway, that's not the biggest problem. So I wanted this to be black. I don't have to paint this. I can take the frames over from the old one. That'll do. Comes with new screws. These are seven. Maybe it's a seven, let's see. And we take them off here. First, I'm gonna get some gloves. And then you start taking the door panel off. You remove the trim from here, level it out. You have two noses here, careful to not break it. You take it out like this. There's no screw in here. I believe there's also none under here, but I take this out anyway. Just take a little thin plastic pie tool or some strong fingernails, whatever you have. Take it out, take a look. There's here, I think it's a T20 or 25. There's nothing under the handle. Don't bother taking that off. There's also one gonna be underneath here. And there is one, you see, the same T20, 25 that's down here. And that's gonna be at least one more up there. Once the door panel is off, you can see this is your cable. Oops, okay. Comes down here, makes a turn here, you see, it goes down here. It's supposed to be the black one to cut these two cable binder here. I have to remove this plug, take it out. It just come up by itself. Be careful with this, you see how it's deforming already. So be careful with this one. And then we can access the tweeter and some insulation foam here and three screws to take the mirror off. This is a T30 up here that's holding the mirror from factory. The foam, you just have to bend this carefully inside. The foam is taped back here. I'm going to loosen the top one first and then take out the bottom one because then I can take out the tweeter. And it looks like these screws have been touched already before. Here, the plastic on the tweeter is also gone, so someone was here before. So 
this piece out of the middle if you listen oh, another one so we're losing some plastic stuff here it is what it is so a quick comparison of the two mirrors they have the same number of cables in the main harness other than the one only is two here it's the old one is four it's like a purple and a black so let's see what that does also the old foam insulation here it's like a rubber foam it's spawned it's really good this is just some styrofoam and it's missing some shape so this is um objectively worse i'm gonna change that use the old one or this one here i don't see why not the rest seems to be the same so this definitely has a better sound insulation we're gonna take that so i pre-installed the old oem foam had to cut a little bit here to get the connectors out this connector also fell apart on me just like that was a little flimsy whatever now we're ready to install this all the screws i'm not using these because i can't attach the tweeter to it um, the old ones are easier it's the same thread they fit in the old one so it's fine and now let's go install this So, and we have the same problem as before. It doesn't stay. Oh, and the other one doesn't move at all. So, the only thing I fixed is it doesn't wobble anymore. That is so annoying right now. Anyway, let's also remove this thing. I'm gonna keep this on anyway because it's just more solid. But it bothers me that it doesn't stay. I'm gonna put this thing back together. It's screwed together. This one stays. I'll remove this unpainted plastic cap here for my shadow line. And at this point, I just put the door trim back on. That's it. So first, I'm gonna put the little light in here. Then you hook this up. You fiddle your cables through. Don't forget the bottom one. And you clip it back in. So as you've seen, changing the mirror on the E53 is fairly simple. It's the most for all BMWs from that age, from that time, early 2000s, all the same. So all you need in this case is a T20 to take a door panel off and like a small screwdriver and maybe like a little plastic wedge. And you need a T30 to take the actual mirror off. And that's it, couldn't be any simpler than that. Just giving you a quick update to tie any loose ends. I did manage to fix all of it, mirror related. For the driver side, you've seen, of course, it's not wobbly anymore. The functionality is there, just the folding is not there. And that was fixed with another fix for the passenger side mirror. And that right there is the culprit for the passenger side mirror once I changed the window switch cluster here. Then the mirror had all functionality again and also the folding for both sides would work and stay. So there you have it. In the end, the entire functionality on the mirrors is hinging on your window switches in the E53, which is pretty awkward, but it is what it is. And also there was one other note that I almost forgot. You saw on the original mirror, I had one connector with four cables and the new one on here two. Those two extra cables, they are for the auto dim function. The one doesn't have it. 
I don't know if I didn't pay attention to that when ordering it or if it just wasn't available. But yeah, right now I don't have all the dim on my driver's side, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It's functioning again, it's folding, it doesn't wobble. I'm 90% happy. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you on another video.